Behavioral medicine tries to understand how to change human behavior. It's a complex science because it is not straightforward. We as human beings are very, very complex. The human experience is something that can't be ignored when we talk about health. We're really bringing in a space where we can have an open conversation about what makes them them and how we can better support them. I really like the aspect of, you know, helping people, you know, achieve the healthiest life that they can ever achieve in. I just get really empowered by being able to know who you are and knowing your body and knowing how that can really influence everything that you do. I believe that newer generations are a lot more aware about the detrimental effects of smoking, for instance. We are also quite aware of how things like sleep, stress management, diet, physical activity, and so on, play a significant role in our lives. And I feel that this is the time for behavioral medicine to make even a more significant impact on people's lives. It's about pursuing medicine in a way that's innovative, integrative, and new. For instance, the detrimental effects of climate change, how pollution affects our health, and how we, with our own behavior and uh, the behavior that we follow in our household, may have uh, important aspects and impact in other people's lives. My grandparents, you know, they all have a, a wide variety of chronic illnesses. And that's what really got me interested in learning more about, you know, kinesiology, learning how exercise can be beneficial for, you know, overall health. Behavioral medicine allows me to become a critical thinker and I get to move forward in a career pursuing research around people that are also just as passionate. I believe behavioral medicine is at that point where we can truly make a change in the behavior. That is not just up to the individual, but it, it has to be like a collective effort.